Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at quartiles of ungrouped data. So we look at the quartiles. We have lower quartile, always represented as Q1, and the formula is 1 over 4 n plus 1 item. Then we have the median, always represented as Q2, which is 1 over 2 n plus 1 item and the upper quartile which is q3 to be 3 over 4 n plus 1 item so we then look at where we can apply the quartiles so we have the interquartile range the interquartile range is q3 minus q1 the value obtained as q3 minus the value obtained as q1 then we now have semi interquartile range the semi interquartile range is interquartile range divided by 2, which is still Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. Then we now go ahead to solve problems. So we have problem 1. Calculate the lower quartile, median, and upper quartile of the set of numbers 8, 5, 2, 6, 5, 7, and 4. So in our solution, we're going to arrange these numbers in ascending order that is from the lowest to the highest and the lowest number we have here is 2 followed by 4 then we have 5 5 6 7 and 8 then how many of these numbers do we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that is 7 giving our n to be equal to 7 then to get our lower quartile which is Q1, we have the formula to be 1 over 4 plus n plus 1 item. This is giving us 1 over 4 into 7 plus 1 item. And the 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 divided by 4 gives 2. So we are going to look for the second item. And if you look at it, the second item, this is the first item. The second item is 4. So our Q1 is equal to 4. Then we go for the median, which is Q2. So our Q2 is 1 over 2 into n plus 1 item. So our n is 7. So we have 1 over 2 into 7 plus 1 item. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 divided by 2 gives 4. So we are going to look for 4 item so we count one two three four so the fourth item is five therefore the median which is q2 is five and lastly we go for the upper quartile which is q3 our formula still remain three over four into n plus one item so we now have three over four into seven plus one item 7 plus 1 is 8, divided by 4 gives 2, 2 times 3 gives 6, so we are looking for the 6th item, and we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the 6th item is 7, so our Q3 is 7, and that's the end of solution to problem 1, we then go to problem 2, for problem 2, given the data set 78, 60, 80, 45, 68, 54, 70, 62, 82, and 72, calculate the interquartile range and semi-interquartile range. So in our solution, we have to arrange these numbers in ascending order. So we start with the lowest number, which is 45, that is looking for the 40s. So we only have um, only 140s there, which is 45. So we have it as 45. We go for the 50s and uh, there's only one 50s there which is 54 we, we have it as 54 we go for the 60s and uh, there are three 60s there that is 60 68 and 62 so 60 comes first next is 62 and then 68 then we go for the 70s so at 70s we have 78 70 and 72 so our 70 comes next, followed by 72 and then 78. We go for the 80s. So 
there are two 80s there that's 80 and 82 so how many items do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have 10 items so our n is equal to 10 remember our interquartile range here we need only q3 and q1 so for our q1 we have one over four n plus one item so giving us one over four into 10 plus one item this is 11 11 divided by 4 gives 2.7 fifth item so what we do here now is we are going to split this we look for the second item plus 0 0.75 times the difference between the third item and the second item so um what we do now our second item here is 54 54 plus 0.75 into 60 minus 54 gives 6 multiply by 0.75 gives 4.5 adding these we have our q1 to be 58.5 then we go for q3 our q3 still remain 3 over 4 n plus 1 item so we have 3 over 4 10 plus 1 item so 10 plus 1 gives 11 times 3 gives 33 33 divided by 4 gives 8.2 fifth item so we split this one into 8 item plus 0 0.25 into the difference between the ninth item and the eighth item so our eighth item 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 is 78 plus 0 0.25 into 80 minus 78 the ninth item is 80 and the eighth item still remains 78 80 minus 78 is 2 times 0 0.25 gives 0 0.5 so we have it as 78 plus 0 0.5 which gives 78.5 we then go ahead to calculate our interquartile range our intercortile range is q3 minus q1 our q3 is 78.5 and our q1 is 58.5 so 78.5 minus 58.5 gives 20 so the intercortile range is 20 so semi intercortile range here we said it is intercortile range divided by 2 that is q3 minus q1 over 2 we've already calculated our q3 minus q1 to be 20 so we have it as 20 divided by 2 giving us 10 and that's all for the solution to problem 2 and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it like and share this video also check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist continue all the videos on statistics until we come your way again, goodbye.